All right, cool. Basically, if you haven't noticed already, I always start my videos with all right, cool. Basically, I don't know why I do it. I just do it. It's just like my thing now. But yeah, this is my draw my life video. I know many people have done it before in the past and this video is kind of old, but I've always wanted to do it just because it brings you the supporters and me the creator a little bit more closer. And on this platform, we're a huge family. So yeah, on YouTube, I'll go by the name Drizzy Jeremy, but in real life, my name is actually Jeremy Jesuthus. Many people can't say my surname or even spell it out. So you could just call me Drizzy. It just makes everything much more easier. But yeah, the way I got the name Drizzy is actually kind of interesting. Like back in the day, I used to like Drake. This was this is my little Drake drawing. And his name was actually Drizzy Drake. So I got the Drizzy, replaced the D with the J and made Drizzy. There we go, Drizzy Jeremy. A little bit more about me. I was actually born in France in this place called Dijon in 1998, which makes me 19 years old as of now. Yeah, I'm kind of old. But my family actually originated from Sri Lanka. And back in the day, some say my dad actually swam all the way from Sri Lanka to France. I don't know how he did it, but he did. He didn't actually, I'm joking. But yeah, I live with my dad, my mom, my sister and my brother. And uh, I'm the oldest, as you can see, which is kind of sick. But yeah, many of you know my brother. His name is Juvenile. But not many of you know my sister. I might reveal her in the future. You never know. But yeah, in France, the only thing I can remember is nursery and me hating it, mainly because I was alone. And the thing that made me hate it even more was we had nap time uh, during school time back then. And I peed the bed, like I peed the bed during my nap. And the girl in the bed next to me went to the teacher and snaked me. She went and told that I peed the bed. And the next thing you know is the teacher that came in and just shouted at me. And that made me very sad. And from then on, I literally just hated nursery school. Like I just hated it. All I wanted to do was bunk school and stay home. That was basically my, my motto. This actually made my mum very angry because I always want to stay home and there's one time my mum got a comb and threw it on my head and so much blood gashed out that I had to be rushed into hospital. I'm joking, I didn't have to be rushed into hospital. Bare blood did come out though. But yeah, I don't blame her because I was a very naughty kid and if I didn't get something, I would literally cry my eyes out till I got it. So in a way, I had to be disciplined. But uh, yeah, in 2003, we moved to England. And I hated this man, like I loved France and moving to England was just something I did not want to do. Like France was my home and I loved it, I just didn't want to move. But yeah, I joined reception in England and again I hated it, like I just hated school for some reason. I mainly hated it because I didn't know any English which led to me being lonely. But yeah, from reception to year two I was mostly alone. But actually this is where I loved football and found my passion for football. Like I loved football and I supported this team called Man United and I liked this player called Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo as many you know but yeah in 2005 we moved houses to the house that i'm currently in now which meant also meant that i had to move schools as well uh this is how i looked back in the day drizzy at the age of seven look at that haircut though leave some like leave a like on this video and i'll go back to that haircut that, that banging haircut look at that haircut but yeah looking back on it this was my favorite time because this is where i met three of my best mates and the things we used to do was just crazy like after school we would just get on our bikes uh, ride around town get our lg cookies out and blast michael jackson music wherever we go yeah, we thought we actually run the town. But yeah, uh, one thing I hated in primary school was tuition. Like education was a big thing for my family and I had to get tuition. And I hated tuition just because it just stopped me from going out and having fun. But yeah, education was a big thing to my family. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this was also the time where I first started uploading onto YouTube like I used to sing to the camera and just upload me singing uh, songs onto YouTube uh, yeah even though I didn't know how to sing I still uploaded it but later on I deleted it just because it was just embarrassing and I didn't know how to sing this was me at the end of year six as you can see I wanted to be a footballer that's every kid's dream to be honest but uh, yeah uh, this is where I moved to high school uh, I went to this secondary school called St Paul's Catholic College which was actually kind of sick but uh yeah at the start i didn't like year seven i just did not like the change just didn't like it at all and this is where i found the love for junk food basically during this time i ate a lot of junk food which led to me being chubby like i was i was chubby man like look at me look at my cheeks this is chubby juicy in year seven look at my cheeks man like this was me at the end of year six and this was me at the start of year seven but yeah um this was also the time when me, my brother and my sister uh, started filming just random stuff on my iPhone 4 that I got 
brand new for my birthday we just recorded short movies music videos and just random videos and this was just fun man like making videos was just fun and in year nine i actually made my uh i made another youtube channel uh it was a gaming channel actually i used to upload like call of duty zombies uh fifa uh but i later deleted it just because i wanted to focus on my gcse's and uh, i didn't tell anyone about the channel though so that was top secret but yeah looking back on my secondary school days it was actually huge fun like i loved it man it was just sick but uh during this time i also had tuition for the subjects which i hated again i just hated tuition but i just had to get it done but it actually did pay off though uh, my GCSEs was actually quite good I got one A star two A's and one D for geography that's because I didn't like geography and the rest were B's so for GCSEs I did pretty all right considering all I did was game and go out but uh yeah this was me at the end of year 11 look at me plugging my Twitter and Instagram back in the day as well oh my days what was i thinking but yeah uh this is where i started my youtube channel drizzy jeremy the one you're watching me on right now at the end of year 11 uh i just wanted to make random videos man like i've always liked making videos since day so i thought why not start one up now and uh i literally used to just get up from the bed in the morning and just make videos like all day like that, that's, that's just something i love doing I'd, I'd make just random videos I, I just love doing it my problems started kicking in when i moved to sixth form like i literally hated the subjects i was doing like, i was doing physics math media and psychology i hated it like i'm the type of guy that if my mind isn't in it and i'm not feeling it i just won't do it like i won't do something i won't like doing so uh, my mind wasn't in it and i just hated what i was doing like it just made me a moody person like i just hated it man this obviously caused my grades to drop like i just kept getting u u e's like i wasn't getting good grades i just that's, that's mainly because i just stopped focusing i also bunked school as well to make more youtube videos which was actually fun i was having fun doing that but i just hated school but yeah i remember when one of my videos was played to the class it was one of my uh, how to pick up girls video that was embarrassing man like it was actually played to everyone in the class and that was actually kind of embarrassing like i played off like it wasn't embarrassing but really it was embarrassing but uh, yeah, I literally used to go into school acting like I was happy, but I really wasn't happy. I just hated it. Um, yeah, that future reference. But yeah, uh, this was kind of hard because my parents actually wanted me to go to uni, but I knew the uni route was just not for me. And later on, I dropped out. I literally just dropped out. After that, I went into full-time work at this place called Door Park. It was a theme park, but I left after three months just because I didn't like it. At this point, I was still doing YouTube. I had 1.1k subs and 72 views, which was not great. But yeah, after that, I went back to college again to give a levels another try and i'm still doing subjects that i did not like mainly because my parents want me to go to uni and uh yeah i was doing it for them but yeah at this point i got tuition again which i hated and uh but yeah it was something i had to do uh halfway through the year again the same thing happened my mind like my mind wasn't in it so i stopped focusing and stopped revising which obviously uh brought down the grades and i basically went into college for the sake of going into college my grades were still looking bad though i kept getting u's and u's and e's and when it came to the exams i literally just went in there and just sat in there and came back out i literally just sat in the exam hall didn't do anything and just came back out and i remember for my maths exam i went in there and had a good nap and then came back out i wouldn't recommend anyone to do that it was just a bad idea but that's what i did so uh, i knew what my results were gonna be it was gonna be bad so i was expecting my results to be bad i knew i wasn't gonna get back into college next year so the last term i did not go in i literally told my mom i had no college and just stayed home and actually focused on uh youtube and start making more videos but uh yeah at this point i had no a levels 1.2k subscribers and only my gcse's so i was basically screwed this again caused problems at home because this was my second time dropping out of school my dad literally just kept telling me to go do an apprenticeship so i could find another way to go uni but i was like screw that i want to focus on my vision this time and focus on my dream and actually do what i want to do uh for once and not what someone else wants me to do so i took a huge risk with only 1.2k subs and 72 views and i put in the grind man i put in the grind i made loads of videos i made my teaching 11 year old how to drive killer clown skit and obviously my abandoned places video and a couple months down the line i hit 100k subscribers like i hit my dream this wasn't easy to do but i finally did hit it with everyone's support this was just amazing man but yeah at this point my dad didn't know i was doing youtube so he thought i was at home doing nothing and he was still forcing me to go to uni but later on he found out that i was doing you um youtube and he was kind of cool with it but yeah this man realized it's important what you want to do in life and not what other people want to do even if it is your parents like 
for me this was youtube and it's always important to chase what you want to do uh i know it sounds bad but it, it is it is what it is but yeah later on i bought my dream car a dream drop top uh, with my dream spec that was a huge accomplishment for me and now i'm here with team drizzy so far man this journey has been like a roller coaster but that's what life is about it's about the ups and downs and how you uh get over it i guess but uh yeah uh i I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's been supporting what I do because without you I just won't be able to do what I do and uh, yeah this video was for the supporters that always show me support and um, yeah man I'll see you in my next video